This video is about different methods to join two corpus together. I speed up the video to include the whole process so you can have a better feel of how I did it. In the first method, I aligned the channels of the sheets that are going to be joined together. The overlapped area is about 2 to 4 inches wide. It will be difficult to handle if the overlapped area is more than 4 inches. I heated the surfaces of the top and bottom coral pist to a point it is almost in a molten state. Then I pressed them together and the final joint is relatively smooth and remained at 6 mm thick. The joint is also watertight. The flush joint is good for jointing two sheets together to make a hull of the boat because the surface is relatively smooth. The second method is overlapping joint. Firstly, I heat up the bottom side of the top sheet of the coral pest. At the same time, I keep the top surface of the bottom coral pest warm. Then I press two sheets together and allow the joint to cool down. Because the overlapped area is made up of two layers, therefore that part of the structure is a much stronger overlapping joint. It is very useful. I can use it to join two sheets together, make accessories such as pedal and rudder. We can also use the overlapped area to create extra structural strength for the boat. I call the third method as the bandage joint because I have to prepare three to four inches wide strip of coral pest. I heat the bottom side of the corpus strip to reach almost a molten stay. Then I press it onto the overlapped joint. This is similar to apply a bandage or a tape to the joint. It provides a watertight seal to the joint. This method is also good for repairing a large tear on the corpus. In my next video, I will explore if we can create a full line across the joint. If you find this video useful, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.